So this was a single center investigator initiated phase one clinical trial where we targeted to accrue a total of 20 surgically resectable pancreatic cancer patients. We excluded patients who had locally advanced or borderline resectable tumors or patients who had received any neoadjuvant chemotherapy. So standard surgery for pancreatic cancer. And then we performed surgery. This include pancreatic duodenectomies and distal pancreatectomy splenectomies here at Sloan Kettering in New York. And within 72 hours, we ship their tumors in real time to our colleagues in Mainz, Germany, where they undergo real time exome sequencing of their tumors, of the normal DNA, as well as RNA sequencing of the tumors. And then following this, there is computational identification of the neoantigens in their tumors, followed by individualized manufacture of mRNA vaccines, incorporating these new antigens for every single patient. So while this is happening in uh, Germany, Back here in New York, we treat these patients with a single dose of atezolizumab, anti pdl one blocking antibody that we benchmark to give to patients at six weeks after surgery. And then at nine weeks after surgery, benchmark them to begin receiving the first of eight consecutive priming doses of their individually manufactured mRNA new antigen vaccine. Following this, they get standard of care modified for Firinox chemotherapy followed by a vaccine booster dose. The primary endpoint of the study was safety, but important secondary endpoints include immunogenicity. So can you, in fact, stimulate uh, immune responses against mutations in a lowly mutated tumor, such as pancreas cancer? The second is, of course, feasibility. Can you, um, can you individually make mRNA neoantigen vaccines in real time, fully integrated into a standard clinical workflow and deliver these to patients uh, without any delays. And the final and uh, secondary endpoint was 18 month recurrence free survival. And uh, the summary of our findings was that we found in terms of feasibility, namely, can you individually manufacture mRNA neoantigen vaccines fully integrated into a standard clinical workflow and administer it to patients? The short answer is yes. We found that our achieved time to individually to deliver individualized mRNA neoantigen vaccines was within three days of our benchmarked time. So we do think rapid adjuvant custom vaccination with mRNA is feasible. In terms of the safety, uh, we found that these vaccines were safe. We saw no grade three adverse events with atezolizumab, and only one of 16 patients had a grade three fever and hypertension to uh, mRNA neoantigen vaccines, which was well below our study-defined safety threshold, prompting us to halt the study early. And in terms of whether the vaccines are able to stimulate immune responses, uh, we did find that these individualized mRNA new antigen vaccines were able to stimulate uh, T-cell responses in 50% of uh, unselected pancreatic cancer patients. We also find that these uh, vaccine-induced T-cell responses are substantial, uh, re um, going up to about 10% of all peripheral blood T-cells, and they are durable persisting in the peripheral blood up to two and a half percent of all peripheral blood T cells up to two years later. And at a median follow-up of 18 months, which was extended beyond our secondary endpoint of 18-month RFS, we found that immune responders had a median RFS that was not reached compared to immune non-responders who had a median RFS of 13.4 months, a difference which was statistically significant that we reported. So based on this, we think vaccines are able to stimulate uh, immune responses in pancreas cancer cancer, which has historically been considered to be a lowly mutated cancer and therefore unlikely to harbor new antigens suitable for vaccines. So we think this is uh, promising uh, evidence of uh, on-target drug activity, and we now hope to uh, follow up with this with a randomized clinical trial in pancreas cancer that is currently under construction.